Hi, Christian here from Texas Whips, and I want to do a quick video on changing the cracker on your leather bull whip, or any kind of whip, really. But if you have a leather whip, it uh, could be slightly different to change the cracker than the video I made before for a nylon whip. So I wanted to do a quick video to show that. And I've got one here. Um, actually, let me put the cracker on so we can show how to take it off. Um, probably you'll just end up cutting it, but we will get a little closer. You can see what we're doing here. So what we have here is the fall with the cracker on there. And if you look tight, this is probably on your old one. It's really super tight. You might be able to get a fid and get in there to loosen it up, but likely just take some scissors and snip uh, try not to cut the leather, but if you can snip any of these edges right in through here, this will come right off. Now, this one is new, so I have not been had a, have not needed to do that. It's easy to slip off. But uh, get you one of your new crackers that should have been included with your whip, or if you've made one yourself. New cracker. And there's a couple ways you can tie it on. But the way that I'll show you two ways that I particularly like. Um, what you want to do is you'll notice that it's it's twisted, but at the end it's uh, got a loop, so it's just one piece that's been twisted together. So if you open this up, untwist it, it'll want to come back and just it really wants to come back. I'll hold that open just a little bit right there, and we are. We want to take the other end of the cracker, put it through that loop, like this. And next, I'm going to pull this down to the end, so it's right at the very end of there. See that? So let's get this up here, small. Put it around the end of your ball, about a half inch, three quarters of an inch from the end. Now we're not going to pull it all the way up tight yet. What you're going to do is leave a bit of a loop and you're going to twist it. I'll make it bigger so we can see what we're doing. You're gonna twist it so that the loop itself is an X and take the top part of that X over the fall right there. And now cinch it up. And you'll leave about a half inch of the fall or a little less, maybe a quarter of an inch until it really cinches it down. And you can work this together so it's nice and tight. And you should not be able, uh, as hard as you pull, to get it to come off. That's one way. And it's kind of nice because it's in, it kinks the end of the whip to the side, but it puts the cracker in a nice straight line, which is where you want the energy to continue flowing. Um, I'm gonna undo this. The other way is very similar. Put the cracker through its loop again and just cinch it down on there like this and then do a half hitch next to it. And then bump those up together, pull it tight. I've seen good success with both of these, whichever works better for you. Um, I'm sure there's fancy names for them, but that's how you change the cracker on your leather fall. Thanks. All right, and I have a third way to show how to attach these. This is probably uh, the most secure, maybe the most traditional, although it's not quite the most streamlined. Um, so I don't use it as much because I feel like it makes it easier to crack with the other ways that I already have shown. But uh, if you have trouble with your crackers flying off, this is more secure. So you'll get your cracker, open up the eye in the end here. Let's see, I have it opened up <laughs> with my finger through it, untwist it, and you'll actually put this right through that hole, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tie the cracker into a knot. Well, actually, let's say we're going to tie the fall into a knot. But just the cracker is going to come through. Is a better way to say it. Not the cracker. We're not tying the cracker or not. Put the tip of the fall 
through your cracker, cross it over, and put only the cracker through the loop instead of the fall. The fall will stay on the outside as you tighten up the knot. So it's a knot, the cracker is trying to pull through, but you can see it's holding it. This makes a big lump. If you pull it down tighter, it will get to be a little bit smaller, but um, it's, uh, it's super secure but it's a big lump. So I prefer the other way of tying these on. Um, so like, you can... So one of these sort of knots, as you can see, it's much more sleek, but uh, yeah, whatever works best for you. If you have trouble with your knot flying, with your cracker flying off, Make the bigger knot, it'll hold it on there. I have one of my other whips that, something about the leather, it just slips through really easily. And it doesn't bite into it as well, and so I use this knot on that one. But my other whips I use one of the other half-inch style. Whatever works best for you, thanks.